Bank of Ghana says the UT Bank and Capital Bank suffered impairment to their capital because they moved away from their core areas of specification. Speaking at a media briefing on GCB Bank's acquisition of the two banks, the head of banking supervision, Mr. Raymond Amafu, says all deposits and liabilities as well as performing loans will be taken over by the GCB Bank. Depositors and customers of UT Bank and Capital Bank have automatically become customers of GCB Bank. This follows an announcement by the Bank of Ghana that GCB Bank has been given the green light to take over assets of the two banks. The Bank of Ghana says the UT Bank and Capital Bank have failed to perform creditably on the financial landscape because their liabilities far outweighs their assets. GCB is going in for the good assets. Uh -huh. So the bad assets would not go to GCB. The bad assets would be transferred to the receiver. This, this is the distinction there. Even though GCB is taking up all the deposit liabilities, they are only taking up the good assets, the good loans. Obviously, they would have an opportunity to go through the various loans to see if there are any additional good loans that they can later on acquire. But for now, some set of loans have been identified which they think are good loans that they can, you know, add on to their balance sheet. So this is the issue. It's not, that's why we use the word selected assets. The head of banking supervision, Mr. Raymond Amanfu, cautioned other banks to stick to their business plans presented to the regulator. One of the banks was purely an SME bank and was doing well until he decided that, look, the SME market maybe is not attractive. I want to go corporate. Does he have what it takes to manage corporate clients? And so the issue is that once you submit a business plan and we follow through the business plan, give you approval, we monitor. But you cannot also keep the bank to say that this is the plan you submitted. When the dynamics of the economy change, they must change their products to see. But if they can't manage it, the risk associated, then as they manage the risk, if there is need for capital, we we'll call them for bring capital. If you can't bring capital, and you get to this level, then there must be a plan of exit. He added that all assets taken over will be reverted to the receiver, which in this case is PricewaterhouseCoopers. PricewaterhouseCoopers has been appointed by the Bank of Ghana to manage the non-performing assets of UT and capital banks, which will not be taken over by GCB Bank. The Director of Communications, Mr. Bernard Otabo, said the takeover does not alter business operations of the banks involved. You don't have to say that, well, these two institutions have been taken over by GCB, and therefore there's no need for me to honor my obligations to um, these institutions. No, it's business as usual. Uh, the only thing that has changed is that GCB has assumed that responsibility of running the bank and in fact they've actually gone ahead to, uh, to appoint two people to be acting as the interim managing directors for these two institutions.